Okay, my perspective on the old college tour. We've only gone on one other one, except for smaller stuff. And I'm not gonna name the uh, school because I don't wanna embarrass anybody or whatever. Um, you may wonder why Krista's not sitting right there and why Claire's not right back there. That's Hope right there. Hi. Hi, Hope. And that's because we, we sat in the uh, first hour of the uh, tour and well, let me d describe, well, no, let me see. Okay, well, first hour, I'll describe it in a second, but after we realized that this was going to be not a three hour tour, but a two and a half hour thing, um, and this school is not a very large school, we realized, okay, we brought the kids to the first one and that was not a problem because the dude talked for 15 minutes, he showed us around, and then they took us into a room and they were basically like, hey, ask questions. So we thought it was gonna be a lot like that because this school was not very much bigger than that school. Ooh, <laughs> contraire, mon frere. Um, so we get there and uh, they have this theater that's like a, it's a big movie theater. They probably use it also to do, you know, lectures and stuff like that, but had to be a good 500 seater, you know, maybe 600 seater and, um, there were three potential students, no, four. Two in one family, another family, and then ours. And, well, the first funny thing that happened, the first funny thing that happened, uh, the kids had to use the restroom, and so Chris was like, I'll, you get them into the theater, uh, get Claire into the theater, and I'll take them to the bathroom and, and bring them in. And so the guy starts his presentation, and I'm like, uh-oh, I got a bunch of kids that are gonna come tromping through this guy's presentation and it's gonna be rude and I didn't wanna do that. So I whip out my phone and I text Krista. I'm like, don't bring the kids in until after we come out of the movie theater. Cause I thought, you know, no big deal. This will just, will be easiest and, and no, no big deal. Well, I didn't realize she didn't have her phone with her. And so just as I hit send one minute later, he's got the lights down and he's doing the thing and he's talking and, um, then the door creak slam and then in goes mama and he goes hi and then in goes hope he says hi in goes grace and he says hi and then through caleb and ruth okay now he does his presentation and this guy was a nice guy don't get me wrong well-spoken dude seems like you'd really like to hang out with this guy cool guy uh, young, newly married, and actually two weeks ago. Uh, and he talked a lot about that. That's kind of weird. Uh, he talked a lot about, you know, being a track dude and never ever having seen a deer in close proximity um, and never having seen, well, he didn't know that deer don't eat meat. And we, we found out that too. And he, we also found out that he thought the deer was going to attack him. We found out a lot about this guy. So, okay, we're there and he's talking a lot about this and that and then trying to do the broad brush stroke thing, trying to be somewhat objective that if this is not your school, uh, but I'm very highly, 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 highly opinionated that this is your school, but if it's not your school, then um, maybe we should help you find some place else, but don't, we don't talk about that because this is your school, highly opinionated. And um, so he gets done talking his talk and then uh, another young lady comes in who tells her us her major and she's gonna bring us around this college. And um, super bubbly, like gooey, sweet, super bubbly. And that's when my mind started switching into, are you getting a load of this guy? girl situation mode where I'm like, okay, I know I'm here to be sold. It's kind of like one of those things where you got like a, um, a timeshare and they just, they suck you in and they suck you in and you forget that you are really there to give them a lot of money, a lot of money. And in a lot of ways, they, they kind of keep you going and you don't, you don't realize at first they're there 
because they want your money. Oh yeah, and you get the education, but they don't say it like that, but that's what it is. It's like everything is like super gooey sweet and it's all designed to get you not thinking about, is this worth it? Return an investment? Am I gonna be able to pay this off? None of that stuff, it's all like, this campi is blah, 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 was formed in the 1941s of the first generation of cavemen, and they carved this out of rock with their own bear's hands. Something like that. Anyway, so now I start thinking impressions. What am I really thinking of this place? What am I really looking around? I mean, College campuses are generally pretty clean. I mean, so there's there's a lot of that where you kind of just go, okay, I know I'm gonna be walking into the Disney world of academia, so there's gonna be trash cans every five minutes and and or less because oh, he told us they're the greenest campus in, in the country. Or no, it could have been just Wisconsin because um, they got some award from the recycling department of Wisconsin and so they got a medal because they had enough trash cans and other stuff so now my mind is switched on where I'm like all right what do I really think and I'm sitting here looking around and I have to start by telling you this guys as I'm really six minutes into the video I have to start by telling you that um I am slightly objective and slightly subjective when it comes to this because out of high school, I wanted to be in music and I wanted to be in ministry. And so when you want that, you don't have the regular career path that most people do. You go out there and you raise money and you buy instruments and you, you, you start writing songs and you, you make music and it's very much a lot like having your own business because it is literally having your own business in that you write the songs, you make the quote product and then you bring it to the people and, and they either like it or don't like it based on whether they like it or don't like it. You can't force somebody to buy your t-shirt because you went to a four-year school and you're tenured or something like that, but forget about that. So I have this, I, in, in my mind, I'm already disposed to the entrepreneur mentality. So the gatekeeper mentality of a college, I understand it. There are certain careers that absolutely you have to have it. You just have to. Nobody wants to be worked on a, a learn at home doctor kit some dude or chick who's like, yeah, no, I got my degree because I bought it on nine easy payments of 1995 from fill in the blank online TV. There is a definite value to the gatekeepers, but I think there's a very unhealthy amount of pressure um, put on way more um, career paths than need to be. Um, I think there's not enough focus put on tech schools. I think there's also not enough uh, focus put on people who may not really need or want or have the ability to do the four-year college thing where it's just not going to benefit them in any way. You know the jobs we're talking about, so I'm not, I'm not talking about something crazy like, you know, I got a degree, four-year degree in basket weaving. Well, if Obviously, if you did that, then you're fill in the expletive. Yeah. Um, so, gatekeepers, I get it. I come from the mindset of a more just go out there and get it done. If people like what you do, they're going to pay you for it. If you're good at it, you will find money. People will buy it. They'll, they'll, they'll want what you have. If you make the better mousetrap... People will beat a path to your door, right? That's kind of me, but I also understand there's gatekeepers. And you know what? If you wanted to be a dentist, I don't want to be working, you know, somebody working on my mouth that doesn't have a degree. Um, teachers, whatever, take your pick. Some of those things I think are like a little ridiculous. Like, okay, you've got to take X liberal arts and do this, this, and that. And you really want to be a blah, blah, blah. 
I'm not talking about all that stuff. That stuff drives me nuts. Now, impressions. I thought it was incredibly strange that I was looking at high school 2.0. Very, very funny. You could look around wherever the students were, and they were quickly in um, like-minded, like-looking, like uh, dressing, like hairstyle clicks, just like they were in high school. That guy's a jock, that guy's a jock, that guy's a jock. They're all there and they're walking by and, and they're talking about making field goals and, and it's like, okay, yeah, I guess, I mean, yeah. You would travel with like-minded people. Okay, well, so that, that kind of makes sense. There's people like that. But then I started looking around at the college and it was all diversity, 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 diversity. But when I started taking a closer look, it was, if you are not conservative, you are welcome at everything. <laughs> but if you are a conservative, you're a hate speech. You don't like this. You, you should be out of society and gah. There was plenty of the wackiness, and then that's inclusion, that's diversity, that's level-headed, but I didn't see much of anything that was like, hey, I don't want to say anything right now because I've probably already stepped on a lot of people's toes. So you get the, the, pre, the picture. People are quickly being put in their own groups by themselves, but then they're also being told, here's this wonderful place of open thought and do what you want as long as it's exactly what we say, as long as it's approved. And that, to me, being a guy who's been a musician, you got to go out there and make your own way. And if people like what you, you, you know, get, they'll, they'll, they'll buy the record, they'll buy your t-shirt, not I got to get into this bucket and make a thing exactly the way everybody else does, because if not, I'm not acceptable or I'm not going to get that piece of paper that allows me to do X, Y, and Z for $30,000 a year. Could some of this be dad talking? Maybe a little bit. In all honesty, maybe a little bit. Could some of this be our society's gotten out of whack to the point where the value of a four-year degree is way out of whack? Probably. Is there some of this where a lot of career paths don't really require a piece of paper and a, a debt of $80,000 a year just so you can go make $30,000 a year? Probably. Hmm. So there it is. Do you weep with me? Do you laugh with me? Do you think that I'm making a big deal out of nothing? Maybe some of it all. I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead. You guys have an amazing day.